today to say that we cannot afford to delay reforming health care. We cannot continue to ignore the millions of people in our nation who have no health insurance. We're here today to tell our elected officials that health care reform is not a political issue. It's a moral issue. Some people say that we have the best health care system in the world. Well, that is simply not true. A system that denies care to millions of people is sick. Amen. And we cannot allow ourselves to think that some people don't matter. Right. We are one in this country, and therefore everyone matters, everybody counts, and we cannot allow anyone to be left out. So this system is not working. You see an ad on television sometimes, they ask, uh, when you're depressed, who hurts? What happens? Well, everybody hurts. So I want to say, the healthcare system today, everybody's being hurt by this. But I want to talk about women. And I was thinking about, you know, there are many people that get hurt, but a, a lot of those people who do not have health insurance today are women, often they're single parents. They get up every day and go to work to provide for their families. And they have no health insurance. So if they begin, <coughs> excuse me, if they begin to feel ill, they have lower energy, they can't afford to go and get checked out. They're not going to spend their limited resources on medical care and deny their children the basics that they need. These are the people who wind up chronically ill far too early in life. These are the people who wind up terminally ill because they didn't have care. These are the people who wind up because of their illness, losing their job, losing their home, and yes, losing their life. And this is simply not fair, and it's not necessary in a nation such as ours where we have a healthcare system that could serve these people. Now, it doesn't really matter whether you are black, Asian, Native American, Hispanic, white. It doesn't matter if you're a Democrat, a Republican, an independent. Every, no one is exempt from illness. And therefore, no one should be left out of access to health care. 